Now let us discuss that what changes occurs to the outer cell mass that is trophoblast. When the blastocyst comes in contact with the blastocyst comes in contact with the uterine wall then it is loosely attached to the wall but gradually how it is buried into the functionalist endometrium because the trophoblast that differentiates into the inner cytotrophoblast and an outer syncytiotrophoblast. Again, the syncytiotrophoblast produces the finger like projections called chorionic villi. Now, this is the syncytiotrophoblast. This is cytotrophoblast. And this is syncytiotrophoblast. What do you mean by syncytiotrophoblast? The cell boundaries are not distinct. It these are multinucleated structures, multinucleated cells. That is nothing but due to the cell boundaries are not distinct. Are not distinct. And the syncytiotrophoblast produces finger like projections and mainly it is growing rapidly and the side which is in contact with the uterine wall or endometrium and it makes interdigitation with the endometrium with the endometrial tissue. This is completely firmly connected. Now, the blastocyst is firmly connected with the endometrium. The cytotrophoblast is also formed in other side but in a slow manner. But the site which is remain contacted, remain attached with the endometrial, endometrial lining of the uterus that grows rapidly, that quickly grows. And this syncytiotrophoblast secretes the cells of the syncytio trophoblast or the uh, trophoblast they secret HCG human chorionic gonadotropin gonadotropin okay these finger like projections these finger like projections are called Chorionic villi. Why chorionic villi? Because these syncytiotrophoblast and cytotrophoblast, both the layers which are produced from the trophoblast, the outer cell mass, both the layers, cytotrophoblast and syncytiotrophoblast, they participate in making the chorion. They participate making the chorion cytotrophoblast, 
cytotrophoblast and syncytio means syn cyto syncytotrophoblast they participate in making the chorion that means we can say this chorionic villi is the part of the rudimentary chorion primitive chorion they participate or the part of the chorion participate in in the formation of chorion this is chorion is one of the extra embryonic membrane as i told you before the embryoblast produces the proper embryo is our body is also complete body is derived from originally derived uh, derived from the embryoblast but from the trophoblast the supportive tissue is developed which gives support to the embryo developing embryo and fetus during the development within the womb and this extra embryonic membrane chorion participate in formation of the placenta this is the fetal uh, contribution to the placenta now human chorionic group gonadotrophin scg h c g s c g it stimulate the corpus luteum as we know it, uh, the corpus luteum secretes in the uh, secretory phase in the secretory phase of the reproductive cycle the corpus luteum which is produced just uh, from the um, graphene follicle ruptured graphene follicle the corpus luteum is produced after the ovulation from the ruptured graphene follicle that uh, actually survives for 2 weeks at best 2 weeks means after 10 to 12 days of ovulation it degenerates and starts degenerating and completely degenerates at the end of the second week that is on the 28th day of the reproductive cycle so there is a abrupt fall of the progesterone and so menstruation occurs or uh, that is the endometrium is closed up but in pregnancy endometrium is not closed up why still the endometrium is maintained by progesterone then how because corpus luteum life is for about 2 weeks but here after, uh, after the implantation also the corpus luteum is maintained by scg that's why they are secreting the progesterone corpus luteum so scg takes the role of it takes the role of the gonadotropic hormone gonadotropin lh luteinizing hormone is one of the gonadotropic hormone and thus you can say the scg stimulates the corpus luteum and corpus luteum secretes progesterone and progesterone maintains progesterone maintains the endometrium and under the influence of progesterone only the cervical mucosal plug is created the cervical mucosa Uh, is produced and the the cervical uh, mucosa plug is created 
and endometrium is maintained throughout the pregnancy. That's why progesterone is called pregnancy hormone. Up to 10 weeks, about 10 to 12 weeks, the corpus luteum is maintained by the SCG. Then the embryo itself that produces the progesterone that is uh, exactly the placenta which is formed by the contribution of the fetal and maternal tissue the placenta produces the progesterone itself and so corpus luteum is gradually degenerated and as it becomes vestigial and degenerated and now what happens the chorion this the root uh, the chorionic villi afterward which makes the chorion that this chorion and the stratum that the decidua basalis the functionalis stratum functionalis portion which is lying in between stratum basalis and embryo is called decidua basalis that decidua basalis and the chorion of the embryo they form the placenta we will study after what now let us go with the function of the scg what are the functions as i told scg take over the role of the function of the luteinizing hormone it stimulate the corpus luteum to uh, up to uh, about 10 to 12 weeks and corpus luteum secret progesterone to maintain the endometrium at about 16th week of the pregnancy, the lot of progesterone is secreted from the placenta and it maintains the pregnancy. Progesterone maintains the pregnancy. This is what happened to the how the trophoblast is changed or the outer cell mass is changed. And Another thing, the trophoblast, how they dig up, they secret the digestive enzyme to, and that's why they are capable to, uh, that enzyme is digesting the extracellular matrix of the endometrium and it creates the space and buried into the thickness of the functionalis endometrium. And first of all, when it remains at us, how? Because they secret some adhesive material. So they remain stick to the. And as we know how, why the endometrium is not sloshed up. Because still it is maintained by the progesterone. First of all secreted uh, from the corpus luteum. As the corpus luteum maintained by SCC. Then after what progesterone is secreted from the placenta itself. Write down how the trophoblast. Uh, is changed into cytotrophoblast and syncytiotrophoblast and their function. Write down the functions of human chorionic gonadotropin called SCG, which is similar with the gonadotropin luteinizing hormone LH.